good YouTube it's your girl Grace Sandra today is actually December 9th so let's start by fixing this which I feel like it's kind of become a tradition so today I'm gonna to be doing day five in my mirror work series that I decided to pick back up and start up again I haven't done one for a year but I did want to give y'all a quick little update I'll do that in a little while but let's get started mirror work is basically where you look in the mirror and tell yourself different things while I'm looking this up I'm just gonna tell you so I am using my Kindle Paperwhite which I love and will link below. The book that we're gonna be looking at today is Louise Hayes, this middle one right here. Louise Hayes Mirror Work, Ways to Heal Your Life. I remember thinking I should do a YouTube series on that. The last one that I did was day four. Day five is building your self-esteem. If you've watched the rest of my series, you know that one of the things she challenged you to do is every time you pass by a mirror, tell yourself you love yourself. And I was having such a hard time to remember to do that. It wasn't because it was uncomfortable. It wasn't because I didn't want to. I just kept forgetting. So one of the things that I started doing in my Silk and Sonder journals is every day on the personal individual day and I have done this for an entire year and I have proof I have receipts if anybody says you have not done that for a year I have receipts bitch every day I have started it with I love you grace and this was a, a direct result of me doing my mirror work with the Louise Hay book because I was like I'm not remembering to do it in the mirror start writing I love you grace just that line on the hard days I was just like I really love you like you're so special <laughs> And then it turned into like, you're amazing. Oh my God, you are just pushing through. Like, I'm so proud of you, girl. Like, don't give up. And then I realized it was becoming like a whole ass paragraph. Like this whole chunk today, this was yesterday's. This chunk is today's. After, I don't know, a month, two months, three months, four months of doing this, that I was really looking forward to sitting down and telling myself, I love you, Grace. You're awesome. You're pushing through. Look at you. Look what you're doing. You're amazing. You're going to get through this. You know, just stuff you would say to a friend who's going through something hard and then it turned into a paragraph every day of like a love message. That is one thing I can say even though it's been literally over a year since I have opened up this book in my Kindle Paperwhite. It's been over a year since I filmed anything about this or thought anything about this. That is one habit that I took with me that has been really amazing for me as a self-care tip. Like tell yourself you love yourself every single day whether it's in a mirror or if you do a journaling or a daily planner write it down in your planner. Write it down in your phone in your notes section every day December 9th I love myself December 10th I love you I love your booty I love your boobs I love your brain I love I don't know it doesn't have to be about physical things but you know what I mean <laughs> I love your tenacity. Whatever the case may be, just tell yourself you love yourself in some way and watch it just bloom into something so beautiful. So I'll read you real quick what I wrote yesterday. Ooh, this is gonna get vulnerable. I love you, Grace. I forgive you for what you have done in the past to survive, but it is time to do better. You will be okay alone. You don't have to do these things to survive. Focus on you. I love you. You are full of potential. Do not sleep on it. So I gave myself a little bit of a hard word yesterday, but I got the point across and then today I wrote, I love you, Grace. You've survived so much. You are going to get through this as well without the help of any man but Jesus. You will survive and thrive. <laughs> been just going through kind of a hard time financially and interestingly enough the only reason I'm filming right now I'm supposed to be doing other things I had two really important things to do today and I went out got my little chick-fil-a and as soon as I parked in the parking lot my battery died so now my car is being towed and I'm at home not doing the really important things I had to do but I'm filming this so maybe this is what I was supposed to do anyway with that let's get started with day five day five is building your self-esteem again we are looking at Louise Hayes book mirror work I am just going to read this through and then I will read you the mirror wick exercises and then I will use the camera as my mirror and then we'll go from there so Oh, I want to read you one of these lines. This is really helpful. Love is the great miracle cure. Loving ourselves works miracles in our lives. I have discovered that no matter what the problem is, the best way to resolve it is to start loving yourself. Loving yourself means having great respect for everything about you, inside and out. It is a deep gratitude for the miracle of your body and your mind and your soul. Just a little snippet.
one other thing I want to read to you that she's saying here is today put all criticism and negative self-talk aside. Let go of your own mindset, the one that berates you and resists change and release other people's opinions of you. Affirm, I am good enough. I am worth loving. Several years ago, I decided that I was never going to talk negatively about myself to myself anymore. That I was not going to shame myself, that I was going to practice forgiveness pretty much instantly. So if I'd made a choice that I didn't like or I felt bad about later, I would say to myself, hey, you made this bad choice. I understand why you made this choice and I forgive you and I'm letting it go. I don't know if it was one day or one thing. I just decided I just didn't want to berate myself anymore because I had spent my whole life doing that and I could see how it was beating me up. Everywhere in the world I felt beat up and I also felt beat up by myself so I just stopped. I stopped negative self-talk and I try not to even joke in negative self-talk. So sometimes you might hear me like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I blah blah blah. I'm trying to reduce that like that's happening without me even like having a conscious thought but I'm trying to actively reduce berating myself in any way and this is something that Louise Hay has said as well and I'm like yep honey I was already doing it yep I see you we on the, we on the same page we on the same page may God rest her soul because she did pass last year with that let's start the day five mirror work exercise stand in front of your mirror and look into your eyes actually I'm gonna use my phone so you can watch me do this okay so stand in front of your bathroom mirror I'm mostly gonna stand here or sit here look into your eyes and say this affirmation I love and approve of myself I love you and approve of you <laughs> keep saying it over and over again oh my gosh holy shit she says keep saying it over and over again repeat this affirmation a hundred times yes that's right a hundred times I love and approve of myself let it become your mantra oh my gosh Okay, so am I really gonna do this? I'm really gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna say this a hundred times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like I'm gonna need to keep track somehow. OMG. Wow. I said I was gonna do this on camera though, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm recording myself on both. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. Love and of myself. 40 down, 60 left. I love it. Now that I have changed the memory card, had a little cute flirty conversation with the guy I'm dating, let me get back to this. So I have 30 left. Here we go. A hundred! I did it! I told myself I love and approve of myself a hundred times! Hey! <laughs> I didn't even do them all in a row, but just to prove it, here is my little thing. You should see that I checked off every one. I told myself I love and approve myself a hundred times. And notice child don't say, and I quote, every time you pass a mirror or see your reflection, repeat this affirmation. That I feel like we can do. She also says, repeat this affirmation a hundred times a day. Wow. This is an exercise I have given to hundreds and hundreds of people over the years and the results are phenomenal when people stick to it. I kind of feel like this is what's been happening with me with telling myself I love myself every day so I can add this little mantra like that I approve of myself but I feel like that's kind of happened as a result of me telling myself I love myself if any negative thoughts she suggests how can I approve of myself when I am she says fat but I don't think fat is a bad thing when she says let's say when I am rolly because <laughs> sometimes I feel like my stomach is rolly how about that I don't even think that's a bad thing but you know how our society is it's like oh if you got a rolly belly then and all of a sudden you're not pretty or whatever. If you find yourself saying to yourself like, oh, how could I think this way? I'm not a good person. She suggests don't resist them, don't fight them, don't judge them. Just let those thoughts be there and stay focused on what you really want to experience, which is to love and approve of yourself. So basically she's saying don't even judge yourself if you have bad thoughts about having bad thoughts about yourself, which is honestly, it checks. That's good advice. You can gently let go of other thoughts that intrude by staying focused on I love myself and approve of myself. 
Now let's move on to the journaling exercise. Although, let me turn my ringer down because that just scared the heezy out of me. I don't need my ringer to be that high. Journaling exercise. Number one, write down the ways you don't love yourself or the ways you lack your self-worth. Do you criticize your body? Do you talk down to yourself? So instead of writing them down, I'm just going to process out loud with y'all. I have removed all of that from my life. I do not criticize my body. I don't talk down to myself. I don't let myself say bad things to myself about myself. It's just my personal rule. So thank God I have that on lock. Number two, write down some of the negative opinions you think others have of you. Now this I could stand to do. For each of these negative opinions, write down an affirmation to turn it into a positive statement. For example, you could change, my mother thinks I am... <laughs> Boy, she is obsessed on this fat thing. My mother thinks I'm fat too. I am beautiful exactly as I am. Some of the negative opinions I think others have of me. Um, hmm, that's a good one. I'd have to really think about that one, but I know I have them. Like, I guess I could say sometimes I think other people think I'm just crazy or delusional or immature or too silly or like I'm not taking life seriously. So an affirmation that I could turn that into a positive statement would be maybe people think I'm crazy, but I know that I am living in my truth or something like that. What I do is I take these questions to my actual journal after I'm done, but I don't have a lot of time because my daughter's going to be here really soon. So I do want to finish filming this before she gets here because it's gonna be impossible once you get here. Make a list of all the reasons why you love yourself and make another list of why people love to spend time with you. I can say a few right now. All the reasons that I love myself, I think I'm brave, I think I'm strong, I think I'm a badass. I know that I am a really beautiful, kind person that I work really hard not to become the evil that has been done to me. I love myself because I'm a fighter, because I never give up, because I love my children more than anything and I've prioritized them in my life. I don't know, I just think I'm awesome. Awesome. That what I just said to you being able to rattle that off I would not be in it, have been able to do that a year ago So I really think like me committing to telling myself I love myself every day in my journal has really helped me And then make another list of why people love to spend time with you because I'm silly because I'm fun because I'm loving because I'm kind because I don't know I think I'm fun to be around, I think. And then it says, post these loving lists where you can see them every day. So yes, I feel like I'm excelling in this because I'm doing some of this stuff already. So this is the heart thought for day five. Feel free to apply this to yourself. Can you imagine how wonderful it would be if you could live your life without ever being criticized by anyone? Wouldn't it feel wonderful to be totally at ease and totally comfortable? You would get up in the morning and know you were gonna have a wonderful day because everybody would love you and no one would put you down. You would feel great. You know what? You can give this to yourself. You can make the experience of living with yourself the most wonderful experience imaginable. You can wake up in the morning and feel the joy of spending another day with you. Here is the meditation affirmations for self-esteem for day five. Feel free to take these and use them in your own journaling exercises or to listen to them. So I'm gonna read these. So close your eyes, take some deep breaths and internalize these. I am totally adequate for all situations. I choose to feel good about myself. I am worthy of my own love. I stand on my own two feet. I accept and use my own power. It is safe for me to speak up for myself. I am loved and accepted exactly as I am right here and now. My self-esteem is high because I honor who I am. My life gets more fabulous every day and I look forward to what each new hour brings. I'm neither too little nor too much and I do not have to prove myself to anyone. Life supports me in every way possible. My consciousness is filled with loving, positive, healthy thoughts that are reflected in my experience. The greatest gift I can give myself is unconditional love. I love myself exactly as I am. I no longer wait to be perfect in order to love myself. And that is the end of chapter five of Mirror Work. So yeah, that was really good for me. I hope you guys learned something as well. I think the major takeaway is that the thoughts that we put into our heads about ourselves every day are really, really important. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all for day six of mirror work. Bye. <laughs> hey, you told me it was gonna be two snowflakes. Sir, I'm in my recording studio trying to film right now. Look, light, camera, action. I'm very busy and important. Let me get back to it. So that was funny because so this guy that I'm dating, he he was like, we were we were actually gonna have a date today. Before, yeah, today's just not went well. We were actually gonna have a date today, and we were gonna go to this outlet mall. But um, he was like, you know, I heard it's gonna snow. But he's from Virginia, so I was like, oh, you're so cute, like it's not gonna snow um that bad like we'll be fine and he has like a giant truck like a giant truck like the kind i need help getting up into so i'm like we'll be totally fine and it was like it's just some snow flurries like yellow virginia people are so cute and then, <laughs> then he just sent me this message and was like this is some crazy ass snow and it is a lot of snow so he just responded back let me see what he responded back Oh wait, did he? Oh, not yet. <laughs> okay, let me get back to it. I cannot believe this died in the middle of me trying to tell myself how much. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, Lord, okay that just got me all off my that just got me so distracted first my card being overly full then i put in a second card and it was full so now i got my third card in and okay i love and approve of myself i need to go back to i'm so distracted right now I kind of want to FaceTime real quick. Y'all want me to FaceTime? Hello. You on camera? What's up? Look. Alright. <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on. Let me stop recording. About the barbers out here, they don't go crazy with crazy with their enhancements. I love that. <laughs> it seems like they don't even Man. go crazy with they uh just doing it the right way. In Columbus, oh my goodness, the barber I had, I'd be like, look, bro, I don't want to get in the shower and have a whole new haircut. Because <laughs> monster haircut, you gave me the lineup, you gave me the walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what happened today? What happened? I got stuck on the road. I was like going out going to do my little errands and then all of a sudden so I got a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-a <laughs> okay. stopped yeah. and then my car started beeping and doing all sorts of funny shit it was like check the AVS check this check that it started beeping the heat started going on and off the radio started going on and off and I'm like what the fuck is going on so then the battery light came on and I'm like oh maybe I just need a new battery so I'm like, okay, well, let me just back into a spot so that I can get a new battery. And um, when I tried to back into the spot, it wouldn't go into reverse. So I was all in this weird ass crooked position. Yeah, so, so frustrating. So then, um, so I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get my car towed or something. So yeah, so I called my ex Revy's dad because he lives like a mile from me. I was like, hey, can you come pick me up? <laughs> Which I kind of hated too, but he has he actually has my battery charger. You know those little portable battery charger? He had it. So I'm yeah. like, can you bring me my battery charger? Because his battery just died like two days ago. So it was like super random. But anyway. Um, so yeah, so he picked me up and then I got my car towed. And so now I'm back home. So. Did you figure out if it was the battery or not? Uh, no, because it hasn't been to I haven't got the text yet that it got towed. Oh. So, oh, yeah, boost. I mean, having to go through all that, you seem like you're still in good spirits right now, so that's a good thing. 
Yeah, I mean, I know it's going to be all right. It's just was frustrating because I had shit to do. Important shit to do. <laughs> so, that's okay. I was like, you know what? I'll just go home. I'll film something really quick since I'm, you know, already have my hair and makeup done. I was like, I'm going to film and then, you know. You don't need to be on the road anyway in this blizzard. Sir, this is not a blizzard. This is a snowy day. This is a snowy Michigan day. Oh, oh, it's changing now, huh? From, oh, it's only going to be one snowflake on the top of your truck. And... <laughs> now it's ten snowflakes on the top of your truck. Ten. Fifteen, maybe. Are you about to open it? No, you're not. Holy moly, it's cold out here. Do you, do you see this? this that's still not that much snow. Like, in Michigan that? standards, that's not that much snow. Okay. Is that, I, is that a lake back okay, there? Okay, exactly. Yes. Oh, that's it really is. Cool. A little man-made pond? Nothing yeah. like Lake Michigan, of course. No, no, not at all. I guess if I put some sand back there, I can make it a beach, right? <sighs> <laughs> cannot with you. So what you doing? I'm just relaxing. Mm. I was like debating on taking a nap. I'm like, I'll go to the gym later. Mm. Maybe you shouldn't be out in this blizzard. You know what? Uh, I should wait for it to calm down, right? Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know if you'll yeah. be safe in your monster truck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put some skis or something on the bottom of it. <laughs> My snow tires on. I wish I was chilling with you right now. Right, hopefully tomorrow we can make that happen. Okay. We might have to, we might have to rearrange the day in case I don't have my car back. Or you might have to come pick it up. Which I think your monster truck, I think it'll make it in my apartment if you're willing to go over like mounds and mounds of snow. Oh my goodness, I don't know. We'll see. You hey. gotta take the risk for me. Yeah, you gotta take you the risk huh? Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I will. <laughs> All right, well, let me, let me finish filming. Um, How you do that? Mm, mm, mm. Yep, the accent is killing me. I <laughs> do that. The voice and the accent mm, rolling. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Well, have fun. Okay, you too. Enjoy filming. I think I'm going to take me a little nap. Yeah, go for it. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Whew. Okay, y'all, I'm distracted. Okay. <laughs> Let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. That was a whole other just, Lord have mercy. Okay. So, 